Hi guys, we are back with some more of, wow, my mind just blanked on the name, <laughs> Brilliant Shadows, and uh, we're getting back to where I left off, we're, we're gonna see if the girls can be able to convince the top ladies to let them just be on their way, so let's get on with this. Is there a reason we shouldn't be? Dearest goddess, I pray you're not taking after Hector so quickly. I had hoped a year or two of shame might have shackled a bit of that arrogance, but apparently it only made it infectious. Zachariah, there's no need to be so controlling. The girls are graduates after all. They may be graduates, but they're also involved in what may be the greatest scandal our school has ever experienced. Well, geez. I am sure we will find out what has happened in time. Hector is busy looking into it right now. We are conducting an investigation of our own. We do not need the assistance of a freshly paired pop to. <laughs> Zachariah is still a bit sore over losing. No duh. I did not lose. He caught me off guard. Even the best warriors cannot easily counter a sneak attack. I keep telling yourself that. Go ahead. Of course, my love. A sneak attack. <laughs> now, to be frank, we are entirely fine with Mr. Warlock pursuing his own line of research. But both Zachariah and I agree that there is likely a much more mundane explanation to this. Maybe. We do not understand the exact limitations of the ritual. Most likely, there was someone performing the ritual at its absolute maximum range, possibly even outside the mountain. Meaning there is someone, possibly a candidate of significant ability and skill, in a nearby village, who will bear the phoenix mark. And once we find this candidate, you will have a partner, and will be allowed to leave. I'm confused. Why do Heck and Prude need to stay here, then? The fact still remains that if we are wrong, Hector has conducted more research related to the subject than any living mage. Though my dear will be loath to admit it, his knowledge and insight may be invaluable to determining an alternative cause. Hmm. If he knew so much, you'd think he would have known the range of the ritual. She's still a bit salty. Now, if you'll excuse us, we were just about to go speak with your secrets. We need to conduct a sweep for candidates immediately. What does salty mean? It's a soldier term, I think. Maybe something around the lines of being upset. Huh. I like it. <laughs> Man, I love what that I outfit. can't believe is that he just passed out so easily. Are you kidding? He was about two steps from the grave in his condition. I want to be sure, though. It doesn't bother you, right? Him sleeping in your bed, I mean. He is sleeping alone. Were he to have tried to join me, my opinion may have been different, but as it stands, I have no qualms. You're handling it better than I would. That's just because you've always had a weakness for boys. No, I mean everything. I wasn't just talking about the bed. And I don't have a weakness for boys. You just have a complete lack of regard for them. You know, we've been here for... Goddess, how many years has it been? Fifteen? And you have yet to... Please, Prude, there is more to life than relationships. No, but... Prude, look, I had supposed that such things would wait until I was paired and we were truly beginning our lives. Ah, so what you're saying is that you want something more romantic, something with more substance than the fling at school. And you don't? <sighs> I'm not sure what I want anymore. You can't possibly mean... I have the solution.
she is paired with a plant. Because clearly, if her research is correct... I have lost my train of thought. Go back to bed. More like you woke up from your dream. That may have been it. I'm actually curious as to your thought process there. Well, if Veronica is right, and one can animate a plant in the same way one might a corpse, then the same potential for magic energy may exist in a plant. So, a plant performed the ritual. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear this or not, but my dogs are howling. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I don't know why he was howling. Hey. But it. Stop looking there. Alright, we'll get back into the story. Heard a bunch of noise and I was like, what the heck is going on out there? Apparently my dogs decided to do a ritual of howling. It made sense while I was sleeping. Most things do. How do you know so much about my research? I don't share my notes. I figured out the basics by following your reading patterns in the library. What would prompt you to do that? Idle curiosity, mostly, and uh, I don't actually have all that much to do outside of classes. My failure to be paired killed my social life, and my own studies can only maintain my interest for so long. Other students' research occasionally provided a welcome distraction. Hmm. Not sure if I should be mortified or impressed. I am allowing for an uncomfortable mixture of both. That would be reasonable. You think? Oh, goddess, do you actually think you're creepy? I had thought that was some joke on Ash's part. I know what time every student wakes up normally. I would argue that is definitively creepy. Slightly. Light and shadows, you're weird. Weirdest in the school. Also, the best. I think that once me and Prue get the hang of this pairing thing, I could outmatch the heads. Oh, there's an idea. Prude, have you ever considered becoming heads? I have a kingdom to worry about first. Ah, very well. I would prefer to avoid staying here anyway. Sixteen years was enough for me. I'm sure you'll find plenty of ways to show off in the king's court. Oh yes, I suppose I should talk to Zachariah and Luciana about that. They let you call them by their first name? No, I call them by their first name and they must accept it. Aren't you such a crazy big boy? They may not acknowledge me as their better, but they will at least provide me the courtesy of eschewing honorifics. Ah. You're being kind of intense there, Heck. <clears throat> My apologies. Do you consider us your lessers, then? No. I am clearly better than you in some areas, but you have an area of expertise entirely removed from my own. The same goes for prudence, of course. But you just said you consider yourself better than Zachariah. That is so weird that a woman's name is Zachariah. For some, I don't know why it's so weird, but it sounds weird to me. I can understand possibly considering yourself better than Luciana. She's a necromancer, too. Zachariah is a paladin. You have none of her abilities. <laughs> I need not possess the abilities of a paladin to recognize she lacks skill. Ouch. Her abilities are not deprived of finesse, talent, or even power. She merely abuses the ability of a paladin to instill strength in excess, and then uses her years of experience as a fighter. 
She is deadly in combat, but she is no great mage. Luciana's craft with golems is exemplary. Truly, she is gifted, but I am better. You're rather arrogant. Also creepy. But I am still the best. Okay, then. Ugh, let's not fight, please. I would really like my best friend and my partner to be friends. I apologize, Prudence. I will try my best. I have found no fault in anything Veronica has said. Of course, my best with social interactions is a tad worse than my magical abilities. Aw, you're adorable. Like a deranged kitten. Thank you. I am not entirely sure that was a compliment. First, we should conduct a little research. I would like to establish a range on a pairing ritual. Would you two mind helping me kidnap a few students? Oh, do you really have to call it a kidnapping? Oh my god. I don't understand why I am required to accompany you on this. Mostly because you were rather clear in your desire to experiment on other students. <laughs> I am not a student anymore, I'm a graduate. The other in that sentence is incorrect. That is what concerns you? Do not trouble yourself, Zachariah. As long as Mr. Warlock is with us, there is no risk of him misbehaving. I'm not misbehaving. This would hardly be the first time I've conducted such experiments. Yes, we know. Those experiments were never sanctioned either. Not to mention that Mr. Warlock would require quite the number of mages to replicate a pairing ritual. Even if you had some of the most powerful mages to have ever attended, you would not have the power to simulate the yearly pairing ritual. There is a reason that we only perform it on an annual basis. We lack unpaired students who might have wished to participate. And we can't simply offer you students ill-prepared to graduate. Nonsense. I cannot believe the spell is so limited. The requirement is the input of raw power, not number. A pair of mages trained in the task could likely... I don't care what you think, Mr. Warlock. You do not have permission to conduct your experiments, so for now, you will stay by our side. Okay, interesting. I must agree with my wife on this. So, what are we hoping to find? I believe these two are of a mind that there's a paladin who has been training in secret in a nearby village. That is more or less accurate. I have another question for you, Hack. What is it? Why are you so freaking weird? Why aren't you riding a horse? Oh, Heck hates horses. As long as he can keep up, Hector is welcome to do whatever he pleases. You want to be a soldier, boy? You best learn to ride. An army cannot be expected to wait on your... fancies. Goodness, these people are a bit rude. What is his deal with horses? Oh, I don't know. He just mentioned it to me while the handlers were preparing Arcturus. That boy has been afraid of horses since the day he arrived. Horses like him about as much. There's something to be said of a man who cannot earn the trust of a horse. Mm. 
kind of interested to see what's going on with this, so I'll stay. That boy. Come, Zachariah, do not fret so. It will give you wrinkles. I already have enough of those. A few more certainly won't hurt. Prudence. Uh, yes? How did your mother handle the news that you were required to stay? Oh, um, well, let's just say she wasn't pleased. I imagine so. It's difficult for Celeste to keep a mage for too long. Too many students are imbued with wanderlust after so long in this region. Yes, it's quite the problem for our kingdom. Which is unfortunate, given how many full mages arise from Celeste. I'd say easily a tenth of our students originate from there. That many? You do not know this about your own kingdom, girl? How exactly do you expect to rule without knowing such basic things? Oh, jeez. Tell me, can you even name your primary exports? I've been focused on my mage studies. I will have the chance to study what I need to know to rule while acting as court mage for my mother. She had me when she was very young. She, she has many years left. Unless she dies, like your grandmother. Burn. Zachariah, my love, that is enough. How do you know so much about Celeste? Did you not know? Zachariah is among the many mages born in Celeste. You are? Yes. It's a large part of the reason I have so much concern for its future. Okay, we are going to save. And we're going to end this here for today. I'm recovering from late streams and whatnot. But I hope you guys enjoyed. This story is very interesting. I'm kind of interested to see what's going on with this. Like if you are enjoying it. And hey, leave a comment if you have any thoughts or opinions about anything. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.